The greatest stitch up since the Bayer Tapestry. Are you fucking serious? Greetings and welcome. I'm going to take this opportunity. I've just parked up. I just delivered to this shop here. Let's take a look at this article. Boris Johnson thinks he was stitched up. Stitched up. <laughs> There's been a few stitch ups over the period of time. Let's see if this is one of them. I've got the article here. This is one from the Daily Mail. Outgoing Prime Minister Boris Johnson used a speech at his lavish weekend wedding celebration to claim he was a victim of the greatest stitch up since the Bayer Tapestry. He made his remarks as he and Kerry gathered with their closest friends and family at the country estate of a billionaire Tory donor to celebrate their lockdown marriage. Firstly, um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's quite funny that he takes the opportunity uh, of his wedding anniversary to have a moan about how he lost his job. I mean, shouldn't he be talking about how much he loves his wife? His, oh, if you can remember which one he is, he's on the third one now, isn't he? Fucking joke, absolute joke. It's, it's, that, that, if, sometimes I always think about these things, like just imagine this happening in, in normal life. So you go to someone, someone's having an uh, event for their wedding anniversary, and he gets up and just talks about how he got sacked or had to resign from his job. You'd think the guy's having a mental breakdown. <laughs> you know what I mean? In an address to the guests, including his cabinet supporters and celebrities, including soap star and singer Holly Valance. <laughs> Holly Valance! <laughs> what, that girl that was on Neighbours like 20 years ago? I'm so, I'm so sorry, I can't do this. No! Um, <laughs> this is what always cracks me up about the Tories. I mean, they're always constantly living like two decades in the past, isn't it? You can imagine him sitting around like, blah, blah, blah. who should we invite to the uh, the wedding anniversary? Should we get some celebs? Get some celebs. Uh, what's popular? Neighbours still good, is it? People still like neighbours? Yeah, yeah neighbours. No, no one's ever going to not like neighbours, are they? <laughs> Such a joke. And uh, the thing is about this, though, is that... I, what, what's your opinion? Do you think he actually generally believes that he's been stitched up? He's, he's so narcissistic that he actually believes it. Or he just wants to put on a show to get back in. G give me your thoughts on that, guys, because it, it really intrigues me. But it's, it's just absolutely ridiculous. You've been stitched up, have you, Boris Johnson? Uh, nothing to do with the lockdown rules that you put in place and refuse to adhere to yourself? Nothing to do with that? Nothing to do with the uh, endless counts. I've lost count of how many uh, sexual assault and sexual misconduct accusations has been uh, aimed at your Tory members while you're on your watch. Nothing to do with that at all, is it? What about the Tory donors? The the uh, the scandal that got uh, opened up when you were wallpaper in your flat and taking lavish holidays at the expense of Tory donors that are obviously wanting something in return. Nothing to do with that, no. <laughs> what about your watch during COVID overall? The PPE contracts, the dodgy fraud, the amount of money wasted on test and trade. Nothing to do with that, is it? Or what about the sheer fact that the public cannot stand the sight of you and whenever you're in public view, you're booed to hell? No, it's a stitch up, Boris Johnson, isn't it? It's a stitch up. Yeah, nothing to do with that. Nothing to do with you constantly lying in Parliament and then when you're caught trying to change the ministerial code so you're, it's okay to lie in Parliament. Nothing to do with that, no? What about the uh, delayed care home shutdown with media, endless amounts of life lost meaninglessly when you could have shut down earlier? Nothing to do with that. <laughs> It just goes on and on. Your insane Brexit policy, your hardline Brexit policy that has completely ruined the economy in this country and is doing devastation in, in Northern Ireland. Nothing to do with that, is it, Boris Johnson? <laughs> Nothing to do with that. I mean, this is this is what this is what gets me thinking because I just I think he's so narcissistic that he generally actually believes he's been stitched up. He hasn't been forced out the party because all of those things that I just listed. 
he generally thinks that he has some sort of right to govern. And then you got this come out reported today, 6.9 billion profits for BP. A minute, let's let this uh, police car go. Where are you going, mate? Where are you going? Which way are you going? Oh, now I've got a yellow light. Oh, well, I'm sure that emergency is uh, more important than me getting through the yellow light. But yeah, this coming out today, 6.9 billion profits for BP and the government's endless refusal at the start of this cost of living crisis to do anything to tax big business. It's a disgrace. They only eventually went through with a windfall tax because of massive pressure from Labour. And you generally think <laughs> that it was a stitch up. You think it was a stitch up that he made you resign, Boris Johnson. Oh my God, absolute nightmare. I just, I, I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm desperately looking forward to the time where I just don't have to deal with this guy in public life. I don't have to see him. I don't have to hear from him. Just take that moment. Take that beautiful moment just to think about never having to hear from him ever again. Wouldn't that be amazing? Of course, we just have to deal with the next bloody idiot that's in charge, Sunak or Trust. But just, just take that moment just to think, eventually it will happen. He will go and we won't have to deal with him anymore. All right, that's me done. As, as we go down St. James's Street, anyone that uh, knows Brighton knows that this is like the uh, LGBT centre of Brighton. And this weekend is Gay Pride in Brighton. I'm very much looking forward to it. I've got friends coming down from Ipswich. We're going to stay over for the weekend. We're going to go out. We're going to watch the parade. We're going to drink lots of beer and we're going to do lots of silly dancing. And we're going to have a load, a load of fun. I can't wait. <laughs> weekend I will also be completely forgetting about Boris Johnson, Tory party and any of that bollocks and just enjoying myself and having a great time which I can't wait for. Take care.